Hello there, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to create a beautiful embroidered pyjama set together. I've taken my regular shirt pattern and made some adjustments to make it a bit looser and more comfortable for sleeping. Here are all the pieces we need for the top. The front, back, sleeve, front facing, yoke, and back collar facing. Now, I'll be making some changes to the front, back, and sleeve pieces. But before I do that, I want to make sure I keep the original pattern intact for future shirt sewing projects. So I'm going to trace those three pieces out first. For the front piece, the center front, neckline, and the shoulder will remain the same. I'll simply add about 7cm in length at the bottom. To create a larger bodice and sleeve, I'll move the arm side down by 3cm and outwards by 3cm as well. Then I'll use that new point to trace down the new arm side. Finally, I'll trace a straight line down from that new point. Similar to the previous steps, we'll trace a new arm side and the side lines for the back piece. Let's move on to the sleeves. To make the sleeve a bit longer, I added about 5 cm to the original length. To modify the sleeve, I tried the same method as before by moving down and out the sleeve arm side points. Then measuring the new length, it worked out perfectly. We will then trace two straight lines down and move in the cuff lines by 3 cm each. This will help ensure that the cuff won't be too large. And now for the pyjama pants. For this, I simply use my old pyjama pants to trace out the pattern. To get the front piece, you will need to fold the pants in half and trace along the fold line. Repeat the same process for the back piece by folding the other side of the pants. With all our pattern pieces ready, we can now move on to cutting. The fabric I'm using is 100% cotton that has a lovely texture similar to linen. I gave it a good ironing before cutting out all the pattern pieces. Since the fabric is quite plain, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to add some intricate details. I have a book filled with adorable embroidery patterns. I've linked it in the description box below if you're interested. For the sleeves, I've chosen this beautiful mimosa pattern. Embroidery is a slow process, but it's a meditative one that I enjoy and I find it very calming. I've also cut out two squares from the fabric to create pockets and embroidered lovely flower designs on them. As for the neckline, I've decided to keep it simple yet elegant by embroidering daisies. They were the quickest to finish, but they turned out to be my absolute favorite. Now let's start sewing. First, I attach the pockets to the front bodice pieces. Next, we added the yoke to the front pieces by sewing them on the shoulder lines while sandwiching the front pieces in between the yoke pieces. We then attach the front and the back collar facing right sides together and overlock the outside edge. After that, we sewed the facings to the front bodice right sides together and turn the facing towards the inside, ironing it flat. 
For attaching the back borders to the yolks, I use the burrito method, which you can check out in my blouse sew long video. I also top stitched the facing all around the neckline and the center front so that the facing would stay well inside. The next step is attaching the side seams and overlooking the row edges. Moving on to the sleeves, I folded the sleeve piece right sides together and stitched it on the side, overlooking the row edge. To finish the hem, I folded it twice inside, 1cm each, and the top stitched close to the fold. With the sleeves ready, I attach them to the bodice. To finish the hem of the bodice, I folded it twice and the top stitched on the fold. The last step was to make buttonholes and hand stitch the buttons. Now for the pants. I pin the front and the back pant pieces together along the inner and outer sides, with the right sides facing each other, sewed along the pinned edges, and overlock them. Then, I turned one leg right side out, place it inside the other leg, and pinned the crotch right sides together before sewing, and overlooking the row edge at the end. Next, I measured the waistline of the pants and cut out two pieces for the elastic band. After sewing one edge of the bands right sides together, I folded them in half and pinned them to the waistline of the pant right sides together, starting from the center back. When it arrived at the center front, I sewed the edges together first and cut off the extra fabric before stitching 1cm along the waistline. To finish the band, I folded the other edge by 1cm, covered the previous seam and top stitch. I left about 2 cm opening at the center front to put the elastic in. Using a safety pin, I threaded the elastic through the waistband casing, making sure not to twist it. Once the elastic was threaded through, I sewed the elastic band and the opening closed. Finally, I hemmed the bottom of the pant legs by folding the fabric up twice and sewing along the folded edge. 